Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. I wanted to create a video which was all about making your game feel more unforgettable with crazy physics systems and other assets that can set your game apart from all the rest. We're going to take a deeper look at a bunch of assets in this video and I might just showcase some which you might find interesting. And the great thing about all the assets that I'll show will be part of Unis' Black Friday sale. If you want to get these to speed up development or make it look even more crazy, they'll have over 300 assets at 50% off and additional flash deals every single day of up to 95% off. And I've been putting posts in the community tab so you never miss out on anything. And remember, the deals end on the 10th of December, so I'll be sure to grab any of them that you find useful. And two assets which I think are great for making physics interactions and make that you have attack reactions, movement, and have full control over how the rigs are set up is one called Puppet Master and one called Ragdoll Animator 2. And Ragdoll Animator is one which is highly customizable, and we're going to take a look at that right now. And these two are available at 50% off up until the 3rd of December. What I've done is I've downloaded and imported this into my project. And from there, on the right hand side, you will see the FM Possible Creations. If you go to the Plugins and Animating, Ragdoll 2 Animator, and then open up the Ragdoll 2 Animator demos, the developer has created a whole host of demos which show you exactly what this system can be used at. And this demo is their push and drag, so you can see we can left click to push over the ragdolls or the rigid body, we can choose to grab them and move them around and they still interact with, as we see the perceived joints, they'll even interact with additional rigs that are in your scene, so you can always use those and move them around in a sort of funky realistic manner has many multiple options whether we want to create something like a force push to push the different rigid bodies around or to be able to grab them with a force grip with customizations that we've set and be able to do devious things like dropping them down there to their demise the really cool thing about your kit is that you can knock objects off and even in this case where there's the water we've got them where we can knock them in there they'll float around and we can still interact with those objects even when they're floating around in other instances of how this physics system should interact. And even if you want really interesting mechanics, you've got a swinger mechanic that you can put together and you could use the ragdolls for that. And the animation system to do a load of cool things if you want a Spider-Man or you want a crazy physics game, which is all about working together. And I like how there's customization to be able to show how characters will interact with a large fall. As you can see, when the character move, we transition to a fall state and then took damage if that was something that we wanted to do for our game. The great thing about the system is you can use it and customize it in different ways. So you can use this for platforming capabilities, even though a little bit quirky in that regard, we can still use it to jump across things, create really interesting obstacle courses with different physics that interact with the items around it if you want to make something really quirky. What could I do if I can't shout out myself? Because I created a physics interaction toolkit called Grabmaster. And this is actually on Unity's Dollbuster sale on the 9th of December, which will be great for being able to interact with physics objects, move them around, use socketed objects, use pressure plates, and many other customizations with support for the new and the old input system with controller support and a modular system that I've built so you can use it and get it going as you wish. I want to show you the ragdoll animator system, which is on this rigged hero object that we have here creates this ragdoll animator component to help us rig the asset as we need. So it's built up of four different components. There's setup, there's construct, there's motion, and there's extras. And there is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of settings in here, which I can't fully do it justice because it's got so much customization. The initial setup is when you grab any character that you want to use, you can use a predetermined setup to create the basic functionality of the system. The construct allows you to choose which bones in which areas should be used. So you can decrease the amount of bones that which might be used in a particular area if you don't need as many. Like I say, you wanted to make it more realistic between the top of the leg at the bottom and the foot. You could remove one by the foot if you wanted them both collected, if you wanted something slightly more performant. Whereas you can choose to click the add button or click to remove the little trash can there. To remove the element if you don't wish to have it. You've got it set across what would be most normally humanoid style rigs in left arm, right arm, the left leg and the right leg. Then you can even navigate to the colliders section where you can navigate to see how big each bone is for each different object. So we can select one and you can choose that to make that bigger if you want to make it impact different areas of your object depending on what you have. You can set physics for each of these parts too. 
so you can see this hip the spine and other various features you can even go even more detailed within this to see how much power muscles or parts of the object will have whether that's the main section whether that's the limbs so you can see the muscle force for right leg left leg and the arms and any additional settings that you can get to make this work and as you can see it's exactly the same with this giant character that we've got set up in the same way with the initial setup the construction for the bones of the different areas the motion to set how big the spring values and damping should be compared to our other one to be able to cause it to feel more weighty and more dynamic when it does the particular movements and the great thing about this when you're adjusting different things like the core or the motion and whether you want to preview the limits of what a character should be able to achieve and how far you want them to squash or stretch in any given direction and maybe you need your own environment to combine with ragdoll animator and make your most crazy physics game with a standout environment this one's called sweetland from the 1st to the 10th of december you can get sweetland in the cyber week sale which is a great one for you to check out too and maybe you've even wanted to make fluffy physics cute animals or anything in between you can get hold of the fluffy grooming toolkit with a great performance solution which works on mobile which will go on flash deal on the 28th of november so you can get that a massive massive discount so this was a look at a few assets that you might have not seen before where you might want to make your own physics game your own awesome interactions and create something that people haven't seen before comment down below if you've got any other assets that are similar to these that you find really interesting be sure to throw a like and subscribe to the video check out unity's black friday sale and i'll leave all the links below to everything that i've shown today so big thank you to very shooter and party of 10 for their amazing support and everybody else who comes to watch the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers